this little demonstration I'm going to show you how to reduce the polygon counts we're going to use the, the uh, delete loops here and here's the active points uh, I'm just going to give you a round off number here it's at 57,000 and I want to reduce this uh, another thing is uh, let's pretend this come from another uh, imported package and let's say the reconstruct subdivision didn't work or maybe say I didn't want to re, re key remesh this because I already have edge flown um, where I want them I don't want to have to redo them all so all I want to do is um, reduce polygon counts so we're just going to mimic this like an imported one so we're just going to make a polymesh 3d and it's going to kill the subdivisions level so make a polymesh 3d and of course we're at 57,000 points here all right the next step is we're going to need to have some kind of subdivision level so we can activate the freeze subdivision level I'm going to turn off the smooth so we can maintain our overall detail and we're going to divide this then we can freeze this this will allow us to reproject it back later when we unfreeze this um, the areas that we need to do is to make sure when we delete a loop is protect it all right so I don't want any loops uh, deleted in this area here around the ears and another thing the one of the important things is uh, down here at the bottom here where it's an open hole right here we want to protect that because I'm going to use some polish and if I don't protect it it's going to shrink it up and it might not project right I'm going to blur the mask once control click then our next step is we're going to come down here and we're going to delete loops got the angle slider some other um, things you can mess with well I'm going to crank the angle up all the way up and remember at 57,000 then I'm going to delete the loop and it knocked it down over 7,000 you can mess with this and do whatever you want uh, now as you can see here down in the neck area where it deleted a lot of loops well that's good but I'm not going to be able to put any more detail back in this area because the polygons are not evenly distributed square so to fix that we're going to come down here to deformation and we can mess with some of these sliders um, you can experiment with it but I'm just going to use a polish a couple of times and give it a second and you can see it kind of bunched up I'm going to control Z this back a couple of times and you can see right here in this head area where we're getting this uh, bunched up uh, these two edges are getting bunched up together here alright that's when it happens when I polished it and used the uh, delete loop um, this will be all fixed and you can see around the face area they got two edges are real close and I want to kind of even them out so my next step is to come down or up here and unfreeze this now when I unfreeze this there might be a problem I'm going to show you how to fix that so we're going to freeze it and you can see where it's not projected when I unfreeze it so we're going to control Z this go to sub tool and we got the distance slider we're going to crank it up a little bit not full blast you got to experiment with this so we're going to ball right here and we're going to unfreeze this and make sure it projects back right okay everything looks good the bottom didn't shrink up and uh, I'm gonna clear the mass and if you notice still up in the face area we got these edges I'll turn the subdivision down to one and up by the face right here and back by the back of the head where they're bunched up so to fix that we're gonna press the cage and turn the cage back off and the magic is we're going to turn it up to number two and now they just appeared disappeared and move it back down to one now they're not bunched up anymore so the polyframes and that's how you can reduce the polygon counts so we was at uh we knocked off almost seven thousand polygons from the original one There's the original one, 57,000, and the new one here. A little different right here in the neck area when I changed it, but it did reduce a lot of polygons. I paused the video and I'm doing a little recap here. I'm going to do something a little bit different. So uh, this time I'm just going to.
protect the area that I know is going to shrink up. So that's going to be this bottom half. Before I do that, we're going to turn off the smooth, divide it, then freeze it. And I'm just going to protect this area here. And I'm going to blur it. Then I'm going to come down here to the delete loop. And I'm not going to crank it up. I don't want a bunch of uh, loops deleted. Another thing is, um, uh, depending on how much mass you got in there, it depends how many loops it's going to delete. So I'm not going to crank it up. I'm just going to press delete loop. And before I do that, we're at 57,000. And we're going to delete loops. Now I'm at 16,000. Okay, and uh, still get a little bit of uh, a lot of polygons in this area. But it did remove quite a bit. And uh, we're going to go this polish. Be very careful not to do too much. And another thing is I already know to kick up the distance slider here. So I'm just going to jump up here to make sure it projects back right. Then I'm going to unfreeze this here. And I'm going to bring it clear the mask. And if we look by the... Uh, some of these edges how they are all bunched up like let's say where the mouth set and it goes all the way up by the ears I got two sets of these well I'm gonna move it down here and sometimes you can just move the slider and it'll fix it well it didn't fix it this time so I'm gonna turn it back to one I'm gonna press the cage turn the cage back off then I'm gonna move the slider to two then back to one to double check that and you can see it's no longer bunched up going up towards the ear and we reduce this a lot, you know, from 57,000 down to 16,000 or a little higher than 16,000, but uh, reduce the polygons quite a bit.